Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. You were right about me all along. About to make his way to the ring. I am the villain from of the story. Smallville, Michigan, weighing in at 182 pounds. He is the franchise of the Michigan Wrestling Organization, Christian Clayton. Well, there he is, ladies and gentlemen, one of the most accomplished superstars in the history of this organization, Christian Clayton, who is 24 hours away, Jacob, from challenging ex-convicts for the MWO Championship at the McCree Theater in Flint. That, that's gonna be so exciting. I'm, I'm gonna pick the franchise, um, the Marathon Man, Myth the Iron Man, the Smallville Slugger, if you will. That man, he can hit a line drive harder than anybody, but that's neither here nor there. He is so hard that, he is so hard he knocked your head clean off. And his opponent, about to make his way to the ring, From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, he is the reigning Michigan Wrestling Organization Great Lakes Champion, the gentleman, John Campbell! Come on, baby, come on! Let me hear you! You can make more noise than that, come on! All right, ladies and gentlemen! Woo! There is the Great Lakes Champion, gentlemen, John Campbell and Jacob Cakes. These two men are no strangers to one another. If, if you were going to tell me that in one year I get to watch Chris and Clayton and the gentlemen wrestle, um, I would, I would, you know, I would know what to say. You want some pizza cake? Don't give him a microphone. Why don't you give him a microphone? Is this on? Everybody can hear me. Absolutely. Everybody can hear you. Good, because I got something I need to say. <laughs> First of all, how's everybody doing tonight? I'm, I'm doing great, John. Thank you. I'm glad we are friends. Now, to you, Mr. King of the World, not only did you cost me and my tag partner, X-Con, the tag team titles against the power trip. I called that match right down the middle. Yeah, right down the middle. Right down the middle. Review the tape. Ray Charles could have refed a better match than that. Not only is he blind, he's dead. <laughs> he's blind. <laughs> and dead. But he could have done a better job than you. So, upon reviewing the tape, I, I, I made a phone call to one Mr. Damon Gray. And Mr. Damon Gray, well, he doesn't really like you that much. I don't like him either. And he told me, since you were the special guest rings. referee in my tag team title match, I can have a special guest referee in my Great Lakes title match. Oh, this is fantastic. This isn't for the Great Lakes like, title? I where this is going. Uh, I, you know, I could. I'll put, I'll, I'll, I mean, listen. I could, put, I could, hold on. I could put the Great Lakes title up. Hold on. Been there, done that. Been there, done that? I was going to say, I could put the Great Lakes title up, or you can put up your title, whatever you want to do. Been there, done that. But, bottom line is, since... You you want you don't, you don't want this title. No, I don't want. He doesn't want the title. That's fine with me. I found a special guest referee. I found somebody Rob that Frost? no, not no, not Rob oh, Frost. Man. He's already worked tonight. I found one Mr. X Con to come out here and special guest ref this match and he will call it right down the middle. Unlike you. So X Con come on out, bring your stripes. And be ready to count. Ladies and gentlemen, the Michigan Wrestling Organization champion, ex-convict, is being allowed to be the guest referee for this next contest. Jacob, this is huge. This is huge, but really, I mean, look at that man's pants. He is ready to rest. Now, what I want you to do, ex-con, is check him for weapons while I go over here that, and get this mic back to right our uh, great announce team. Well, thank, thank you, John Campbell. Well, what a surprise here for this con. I mean, we were excited about this to, to begin with, Jacob. 
a Campbell versus Clayton match is a main event in any arena across the state, but you add the fact that the MWO champion ex-convict is going to be the referee for this thing, well, it just got huge. Yeah, it, it got re real huge because if well, what is going? Watch where you're touching. He's 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 checking for weapons. I, I wonder if he's looking for a bowling pin. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is coming from the controversial tag team championship match that took place a couple of weeks ago during a pro wrestling live event at the City Market in Flint, in which um, ex-convict and Campbell challenged the power trip. Clayton somehow or another was the referee for that. I don't know how he swindled that at all. Any match with you in it. Chris Clay, that's a handicap match. We want to know how he could do it. Hold on. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. John Campbell Come trying on, to get the great fans here in Lake Orion behind them. We are live here on ONTV. We thank you so much for watching. The franchise, ladies and gentlemen, uh, adjusting his elbow pads, knee pads. You don't want to risk an injury, Jacob, when he's 24 hours away from challenging ex-convict for the MWO championship. Exactly. I mean, that, that match against ex-con tomorrow is huge. But this is this is a big match as well because, I mean, th they've got tension between these two. You're certainly right. Collar and elbow tie-up. Now, you go back to Russell Rama 19 and that 30-minute Iron Man match that these two had, an instant match of the year candidate. 24 hours after that, the rematch at Redemption in which the gentleman would win the Great Lakes Championship but the title not on the line here tonight. No, that, that Iron Man match was simply amazing. I was glad I was able to uh, catch video of it, but sitting right here finally and actually watching these two, I'm just, I'm simply amazed. And it just started. Let go. Three. Let go. Clayton got to the ropes and that's convict to his credit, putting the five count on and the gentleman, he broke, he broke the hold. So far, so good. That's how wrestling works. I got till five. Ex-convict, ladies and gentlemen, vested interest in that. That is his recent tag team partner in there, along with his number one contender, Christian Clayton, ladies and gentlemen, working over the left arm and shoulder. Now, the injuries that he has sustained, it happened right here on Showdown Lima, where Clayton broke the arm of the gentleman. Did he use the baseball bat? Clayton reaching for those ropes. Campbell using that power advantage, drags him right back to the center of the ring. Yeah, how sweet it is. John Campbell is working that arm. He's going to try to break Chris and Clayton's arm now. Turnabout's fair play, I suppose. All's fair in love and war, especially here in the Michigan Wrestling Organization. Standing side headlock, beautifully executed by the Great Lakes champion. Clayton shoots shoot Campbell up the rope and a big shoulder tackle. That is the power advantage that Campbell has over Mr. Moniker, Christian Clayton. The man has done so much in this company over a decade of service to this organization. He's simply just a fantastic man. One of the best in-ring superstars you will find anywhere, Jacob. And I, and I mean, anywhere that there is a professional wrestling promotion, Christian Clayton has to be considered in the top five of the most talented. Okay, I'll go with you on that one. I, I like that. He, but he didn't look too happy when he was walking, walking around right there. No, he certainly is not a happy camper since it was announced that ex-convict would be named the special referee at the onset of this contest. Uh, it may have rattled Clayton, and that's a man who does not get rattled. Exactly, because he was all set to take on the gentleman, and then here comes ex-con to ref the match. The man he's going to be facing tomorrow? Tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen, at the McCree Theater in Flint, Michigan. Oh, big shoulder tackle. And one more time, Christian Clayton rolls to the outside. Oh, right there. That one, I don't think he rolled. I think he was knocked out of the ring on that one. Two. Ex-convict put, putting the count on. Three. Very liberal count. Hey, he's doing better than Cherry. He already counted three. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, Christian Clayton back up on the ring apron. Campbell bringing him in the hard way, up and over the top. 
Campbell has had his trouble with the power trip as of late. Of course, who hasn't? Right, I think it, I think it, they've been uh, uh, spitting in everybody's cereal. Beautiful snap neck breaker there by the gentleman. Went for the pinfall, Clayton gets right out of it. Big elbow drop. And followed by a second one. John Campbell is in firm control of this. Oh, drops the knee across the brow of the franchise. One count only. John Campbell knows Christian Clayton very, very well. He understands that he is in for a fight. Whether or not the title is on the line is regardless. Big back elbow and out Again? goes Christian Clayton one more time. One. Trying to catch a breather because as we all know, Jacob, there are no timeouts in professional wrestling. Uh, exactly. This, this isn't a, a schoolyard Three. game. They, they, these are two men in the ring trying to one-up one Four. another. Oh, it's a foot race here on the floor at the ONTV studio. Oh, I, I Cat think, and mouse. I think they're playing tag. Oh, and Clayton got him. Oh, man. That was down around Saskatoon, I got to believe. Is that the Saskatchewan where John Campbell is supposed to? <laughs> Christian Clayton now. The, the momentum has shifted here into the favor of the franchise of this organization, Christian Clayton. Oh, man, Clayton going right to work on that left knee of the Great Lakes champ. Exactly. He just pointed out that he has that bad wheel. I think Christian Clayton just became a mechanic. He's on the rope. He's on the rope. Let's go. Oh, man. More insult to injury oh, to that go. left oh, leg, leg, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Documented oh, injuries to, to that area for John Campbell. That's one thing about Clayton. He sees a weakness. He's like a shark on blood, man. He is right on top of it. And, and he's not going to let up till either he breaks it or you to tap out. A lot of times, even if you do tap out, he's still not going to let go. But right there, he went right to the eyes. I don't care how big you are, Jacob. You go to a man's eyes, that's going to slow you down. Exactly. How are you going to be able to see anymore? John Campbell, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and one more time. He's trying to get some momentum, but Clayton went right to the eyes one more time. I don't know if, if, if that's convicts see that or not. Ooh. A couple of big elbows there. He finally broke away from that leg lock. If, if, if x -Con didn't see that, then either he had his eye closed or maybe he was sneezing. Christian Clayton now trash talking the Great Lakes Whoa. champion. And oh man, drives that knee right into the canvas. Adding more injury to that wheel. Picks him up one more time. Oh man, it comes right down with the with the big elbow drop to the back of the knee. That, that's, just, that's just beating up the front and the back. So he's just doing double damage. Christian Clayton now, oh man, snaps that <laughs> knee joint. That is legitimately a foot DDT. Come on, John. John's going to have a hard time getting back to his feet at this juncture. If he can't stand, he's going to have a hard time derailing the momentum of Christian Clayton. The fans here in ON TV studio kind of in awe right now. They're, they, they can't believe that Clayton is manhandling the gentleman in the fashion that he is. Exactly. I, I, I think these fans think we're in a library or something because they're being awfully quiet. Krisha Clayton still working over that left knee of gentleman John Campbell trying to get to the ropes. The MWO heavyweight champion, ex-convict, right there. Campbell gets the ropes. Clayton putting the count on. Come on, get off him. Ex-convict right on top of Clayton with that five count. Clayton stretching that count for as long as he could before he was risking a disqualification. Exactly, and you can just tell in the face of x time he just wants to get his hands on Christian Clayton. Christian Clayton, you would think that he would uh, you know, kind of take it easy with a big title match tomorrow afternoon at the McCree Theater in Flint, Michigan, but he has really gone right to the wall with this one. John Campbell writhing in pain. Christian Clayton trash talking him. Four on to the face right there. He just got broke that leg hole that Christian Clayton had on John Campbell. Oh, big forearm. And another one. Campbell, those ropes are what's holding him up. Oh, man, drop kick. 
One more time in a cold line. That was out of the ballpark. Out of the park. That's why he's a smallville slugger. Two. Two count only. Christian Clayton went for a home run on that one, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to take the head off the Great Lakes champion. Oh, well, if he's going to have, have him sign the ball. Get that man a trophy case for whatever comes off, because I'm telling you what, Clayton is swinging for the fences. <laughs> I like that. No! Jack Campbell. No. That head is as red as his tights, ladies and gentlemen. He needs to get a break here, or his leg is going to break, Jacob. Uh, exactly. But you said uh, his head is red. It's more like red velvet cake. Good, good analogy. Yeah, I, 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 I can see that. You can stop it. Delivering more forms than he just Cheeto chopped John Campbell right in the side of the head. Uh, certainly did. Going all Mortal Kombat on him. Ex-convict really looking in, seeing if, if Campbell wants to give this one up. He is the Great Lakes champion, ladies and gentlemen. If he can't defend that title, it would be a shame if officials would strip that title from him because he can't defend it. Exactly, that would be a shame, but how can you fight when a man's choking you? Come on, get up. A blatant choke hole Two. right there. Three. Campbell draped over Four. the middle rope. Get the MWO champion, ex-convict, the guest referee for this particular contest. And oh my goodness, one more time, Christian Clayton just administering the punishment to the gentleman. He just hopped up on that horse and took it for a ride. This is a very nonchalant cover. Whoa! Oh, one, two! A nonchalant cover, and Campbell almost made a pay for it. That would be really nice to see that one, two, three. John Campbell got the best of Christian Clayton. Ladies and gentlemen, two of the finest in ring superstars this organization has to offer, and you're seeing it live here tonight on Showdown Live. I'm going to be many more excited than watching these two. Campbell snaps that top rope and down goes Clayton. That is the break that the gentleman needed. Exactly. It's a tight. He needs to just keep on keep it on. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to keep that weight off that left. Oh, man. And Clayton goes right back downstairs, drop kick into that knee, and Campbell is down once again. Kemba really needs to try to get something going here because uh, if Chris Clayton just keeps attacking that knee, he's not going. He's going to have to get carried out of here, just like I had to help that referee earlier. Spinning toe hold, a classic maneuver, ladies and gentlemen, being applied by the number one contender to the MWO title. Oh, Campbell goes for a small package. One, two, oh, two. Man, that was close. That arm was coming down for three. Jacob Cakes. I I'm surprised it did, but he just. Kicked out so hard that uh, he about threw Christian Clayton all out of the ring. But it still does not thwart this attack by Christian Clayton. Oh, you man. Just, you just said thwart. Say That's a funny word. Well, what's not funny is Christian Clayton now really, really digging deep on that knee, nice and deep like, really trying to get the submission when the four gentlemen, John Campbell, but Campbell is the type of superstar, Jacob Cakes, he's not going to give up. He would just assume let his leg break than to, to, to tap out to someone like Christian Clayton. Exactly. John Campbell's got so much pride that uh, he don't care what you do to him, but he does want that W. Big elbow drop into the inside knee. John, what do you say, huh? Ex-con right there asking Campbell if he wants to give up. And still, Campbell will not tap out. What a testament to this man's power, to this man's resilience. I don't, I don't know how much more John Campbell's going to be able to take on that knee. I mean, that's just another vicious elbow drop. And the great fans here in Lake Orion trying to will behind the Great Lakes champion. They literally just walked out of that library and started yelling. John Campbell unloading on Christian Clayton finally gets that hold broke. Can he stand? I don't know. Jacob Cakes, that left knee looks like it's sitting in an awful awkward angle. That very awkward angle. More likely, he's going to need to use the power trip's wheelchairs 
after this match. Clayton now goes for it. No, a reversal by Campbell. Clayton holds on to the ropes. He ducks a clothesline. Clayton from the far side, a double clothesline. Both men are down. Take it down, how sweet it is. A double clothesline, both men are down. Two. I'm a grown man, and this man literally just brought me baby water. Three. Uh. Referee, ex-convict, putting the count. Four. Get We're just missing missing a little little nipple top, but so that's okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, ex-convict. Six. Just because I'm as big as baby Huey don't mean not baby Seven. Huey. We're up to seven, ladies and gentlemen. If neither one of these men get to their feet to break this count, we're gonna have a draw. And two, oh, okay. No, Clayton's well, we got... back on his feet. Campbell barely gets to his feet. Good, I didn't want this match to end. They're going toe to toe, Jacob. Big right hands by Campbell. What I'm, there's a big right hand. The fans better watch out because I see something. The fans got some sandwiches, and we know how Ed Convict little sandwich. Oh, big clothesline, and you can see that knee really bottom. him. He's got to keep the weight off that knee. Big back elbow by the Great Lakes champion, and now it's Christian Clayton, who is in a world of trouble. Scoops him up. Oh, man, right there, Jacob. Right there, big knee just gave out on him, and Clayton goes right to work. One more time, targets that left knee. He's just, critically, he's just like a homing missile. He's going to keep attacking that knee every chance he gets. Come on, Campbell! Campbell trying desperately to get to his feet. Oh, man! That is ex-convict's patented finishing maneuver used by, by Christian Clayton. What a slap in the face. Yeah, exactly. That's why ex-convict getting up in his face. Oh, we have a problem here, Jacob. I'm sorry, dog. My bad. Yeah, yeah, homies. <laughs> we have we have words between the champion and his number one contender, Clayton, to the top Whoa. rope. Go off the rope, big elbow drop, vintage Christian Clayton. See that? that was that was that was beautiful. Nailed it. Clayton goes for the cover with two. two. Oh man, two. how did he do it, Jacob? Heart, that's what it was. It was like, because Chris Clayton, he nailed that. He's like a carpenter. He really did. He got all of it, too. How many superstars has Christian Clayton put away with that particular maneuver, that big elbow drop off the top rope? Well, wait a minute. What do you think you're going to do with that? Clayton's got the Great Lakes Championship that? belt. I I think uh, no. X-Con sees it. No. I don't think so. He's got the belt, Clayton. Clayton. What, as convict Oh, man! A miscue! A miscue by, by S. Convict! He just laid out John Campbell! Count! Oh, my goodness! Count. One! What a sad day! Two! No, this can't be it! This, oh, this. man! There goes gentleman John Campbell's best friend, ex convict just hit him in the head with a belt. A miscue by the MWO champion. ex convict was going for Chris Clayton. Clayton ducks out of the way. Story. The belt smashes into John Campbell, and he reluctantly, reluctantly had to count three. I'm just happy that, I'm just happy they didn't put that title on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Christian. Clayton! Well, that is a big victory for Christian Clayton as he's on his way to Flint, Michigan tomorrow afternoon. A date with the MWO champion, S. Convict. Oh, wait a minute. It's a foot race. Jacob, I'm going to go up to ringside. You take it from here. All right, I'm going to sit here and eat the cake. Hey, man, it is, it is simply just sad. John Campbell cannot get up, and he, he's gonna need some help. Let's get some help out here. Let's go. See, I just said that, and we're gonna need some help out here. 